so uh, the, the, the transmission is on. I hope that you hear me properly. I don't know if everything is okay, but I hope so. The recording is on, so we can start now. We'll just dock this here. Okay, fine. So uh, <clears throat> today, I'm happy to, to, to have this webinar for you. Uh, the main topic of this presentation will be Japanese candles and candlestick chart for beginners. Uh, we can say that trading without charts is like driving without a map. And that's true because if we don't have charts, we can really have big problems to trade. Some days ago, the charts were made by pencils. Now we have computers, it's much better. So I hope that this uh, webinar will help you to uh, understand how the chart is constructed and how it's built. So at the beginning, I have to introduce myself. I'm Dariusz Dago. I'm a Forex trader and, uh, and I'm a technical analysis expert. So I am definitely focused on technical analysis, but of course, fundamentals are also important. But today's topic is, of course, uh, not the techniques, but uh, the charts which we are using to trade. Of course, at the beginning, we must uh, remember that the information contained in this presentation is uh, general information and only does not take into account your objectives, financial situations or needs. You must remember that this presentation is uh, just a form of an idea of an education, uh, but it's, those are not advices, not financial advices. And please remember that forex trading carries a high level of risk and might be not suitable for all investors. And remember that the past performance may not be indicative of future results. Uh, so let's uh, start with uh, the main, main subject of our meeting. What is a price chart? A price chart, uh, a chart, or more specifically, a price chart happens to be the first tool that every trader is using in technical analysis, and he needs to know and learn how to use it. In order to study how the price of, of, of the currency pair or the commodity moves, you need some sort of a way, a way uh, to look at its historical and current price behavior. So you need to know uh, the history and what's happening now. And to know it, you have to have a chart. A chart simply is a, is a visual representation of a currency pays price over a period of time. It uh, visualizes the trading activity that takes place uh, during a single trading period, whether it's five minutes or four hours or one day or one week. It, of course, depends on uh, what kind of uh, time frame you are using during the trading. But of course, uh, you must remember that uh, any financial asset with uh, price data over a period of time can be used to form a chart uh, to analyze it and then make some trading, trading decision. Uh, I must add, of course, that the partner of this webinar is CCI Traders. It's a broker which can offer you very good conditions. We have some bonus for the beginners. Uh, it's a one-time bonus. It's uh, not available for the beginners only, but, but for everyone. Uh, but you cannot, of course, receive the bonus two times and you cannot withdraw the bonus. The account with an existing fund also cannot get a bonus. It's for a new account. Uh, you can use it for two weeks. Uh, you cannot withdraw the bonus, but when you make a profit, uh, the profit will be left for you after a deposit of yours. It at least two weeks trades before you can withdraw the profit. 
so what's also a benefit of CCI traders is that all transactions are insured with uh, up to $1 million uh, in a top tier bank insurance company. This is making the CCI one of the best brokers uh, with this form of security. How to apply to the bonus? It's very easy. Just send a mail uh, with headline educational bonus to this address and you will get all the informations needed. So let's start with, with uh, uh, what's a price chart. Price chart, this is a typical price chart which we are using uh, during trading. It's a price chart from a platform, trading platform, a tool which you are using to, to trade on. And usually it looks like this. Of course, we, can, we have black and white charts. We have colored charts. Uh, we have charts as you can have charts as you wish. You can change the type of the chart, but the main idea of a price chart is that we have a time scale here and the price scale here. Time scale, of course, is moving from the left to the right, and so is the moving the price, but the uh, value of the price is, of course, going up and down in whether, it, whether the market wants to do it. So this is a typical price chart, and now uh, we, we need to know that uh, there are many types of price charts. There are many types. As you know, there are some, uh, I believe, uh, at least six or seven types of uh, price charts. Uh, probably you heard uh, uh, most of them. But what's important that uh, <coughs> there are main, the, there are three main charts. Those are which are listed here. So we have a line chart. We have a bar chart and a candlestick chart. The candlestick chart, I believe, is the most used, most popular within traders. So may, on this mainly we'll focus. But before we go to the candlestick chart, I'll explain each of the Forex charts and let you know uh, what you should know about each of them. Line chart. Line chart is a very simple, it's a, I believe the most of the simplest charts. It's a chart which uh, they, we have a line drawn from one data to another data. So one closing price to the next closing price. And normally it, it, those would be dots which are connected with a line. But the, it's very simple to follow, but the, the line chart will not provide uh, you the trader uh, much details about the behavior within the period. It means that you will have data, let's say if it's a one hour chart, it means that every one hour we look at the price and put a dot on this chart and then we put another dot and then we connect it with lines. <coughs> Sorry, but we don't know what uh, really happened uh, between those two points. So we all know that the price closed at uh, point X uh, with a level uh, Y, and that's all uh, what you know. So the line chart is very simple, but it's for the to, to make a proper analysis. It's uh, really uh, not so easy. So we have another type of charts, which I'll show you now here. It's a bar chart, and you must remember that uh, bar charts are also very popular. Many traders use those, but uh, they also are not so, <clears throat> in my opinion, so easy to understand because it's rather a chart which is for uh, professional traders, uh, which uh, saw hundreds and hundreds of charts and they, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> they can, uh, understand any chart they see. In case of a bar chart, a bar looks like this. We have a line which is showing the maximum of the uh, price during some period, a minimum of uh, when the price had in a, in a period. It shows also the moment when the markets opened the bar and it was closed. <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> sorry. <coughs> so looking at this bar, we can say that uh, we know when, at what level the price has opened, at what level the price went out or closed the, this bar, where, what was the highest price in the period and what was the lowest. In case, let's say that it would be a one hour bar, it means that the, after one hour we have another bar and this is showing us what happened with the price during the, this one hour. So we know that it went open on this level, then it went down, then it went up, then it went down, and then at this level, this after one hour, the price was closed, this uh, bar was closed, <coughs> and the distance between open and close, this is the distance, uh, how much the price uh, went up in a one hour. Even it was for a moment much higher than it, it has fallen here. Bar chart helps, uh, helps us to see uh, the, the range of each period. How, what was the range during the, the um, one hour? How far was the price and how low was it? And here is a sample that also colors matter. What I mean colors matter, it means that uh, black candles and those are colored candles, the difference is such that I know traders which use black candles and they have no problems to understand what happens here. But I prefer colored because when I look at the bar and I see that it's green, I know that price started here and went out here. So it means that uh, it was a bullish, a bullish candle. A uh, bullish candle means that the price during the, that period shown by this bar, the price went higher uh, than it started to with the hour. Okay, let's say that it's a one hour chart. <coughs> In case we have <coughs> red bars, we know that those are bearish bars. A bearish bar means that the price was falling. In the beginning of, of the hour, price was here, at the end of the hour was here. So it means that during that hour, price went, uh, got lower, went lower. So I believe that uh, using uh, colored, colored uh, charts, it's much better than using um, just black. Maybe if you are a very experienced trader, you will start using black candles, but at the beginning, I believe the colors are much better. And even better than those bar charts, because as I mentioned, those are bar charts, even better than those are candlestick charts. Uh, of course, uh, not uh, the candlestick charts are not like those, which I show you on the picture. Also, they are not like those. Uh, but uh, you, see, you will see so that uh, there is a really some similarity between the candles shown on the picture and those which we are using uh, in forex trading. This is a typical candlestick part, uh, candlestick uh, chart. You see that uh, they, are, they differ a bit from the bars, which I showed you a moment ago. The difference is such that uh, candles, candlesticks, they have bodies. So I will now show you in details what I mean bodies. And maybe if, uh, at the beginning a short description. Candlesticks shows, uh, you know, we have, we have the same information on a candlestick like we have on a bar. But uh, I believe that uh, this is a bit nicer. Uh, it's a graphic format because in on the in the candlesticks, <clears throat> the wider part or, or the body in the middle shows us the range between opening and closing prices, which we didn't see so easily on the bar chart. Um, so those bodies uh, can help us quickly to uh, understand is the market growing or, or falling just because uh, there will be some different colors. And 
uh, that also type two types, uh, at least two types of candlestick patterns, which uh, we say we can say they are black and white or colored. And uh, let's start maybe with black and white. <clears throat> black and white candle looks like this. This is the how a candlestick is built. So the, this is the body. This is the, the this part is the body, and the body is uh, between uh, open opening price and closing price. Okay, so this is the body. All what's over the body, we call those uh, shadow. Some call it a wick, and uh, of course we can call it uh, however we would like to call it however we like it, but uh, we must know that the body is the part between closing and opening price. Of course, if we see that the opening price was higher and the closing was lower, it's a bearish candle. It means that this, the market was bearish, the market was falling. And usually it's filled with black color. If it's empty, if it's empty like here, it's usually called a bullish candle because the market started from this level and when the candle was closed, the price was higher. So we have two, two types of candles, bearish and bullish. Of course, many traders use black and white because they, I believe it's much easier to recognize it than uh, on the bar chart. But even better, in my opinion, even better are candles colored. <coughs> and those candles uh, later on will go to live charts and I will show you how those uh, candles are easily recognized if you, are, if you have them uh, colored in red and green. So <coughs> looking, uh, looking at the comparing this picture with the one here you can say that uh, it's only a matter of color nothing else because uh, the shape it's it's something which is the same it's not dependent on the color of the <clears throat> candle so i drew here the, the arrow showing that if the candle if the body is red it means that it was a bearish candle and the price was falling during the period of time <clears throat> which is shown by the candle. Of course, the candles can be one minute candle, five minutes, 15, 30, one hour, one day, week, one month. It depends, of course, on the time frame we are using. But about time frames, we will speak a few minutes later. Uh, let's uh, focus at the moment on the how the... Um, candles, how the candles are, are um, built. Red, bearish, green, bullish. This is what we need to remember because if we look at the chart, we will see many of those candles. And it's, for us, it's very important that we recognize very quickly the trend. The trend, it means in which direction the price is moving. That's why I, I prefer candlesticks, candlestick charts, because I believe they are much better uh, than the bar charts or even twice as good like the uh, line charts. So just take a look. Let's go uh, to another slide when I'll show you <clears throat> when you are using the platform of CCI traders you will have such a menu and when you open the menu with uh, the types of the types of uh, charts you have many of them and the first on the first place is the candlestick pattern the chart <clears throat> on the second place we have the line chart and then we have the bar chart. So any of them, those you can open, the one you prefer, you can use them. But I believe that uh, while you'll be educating yourself, 
uh, this uh, candlestick pattern charts are much much uh, better much easier to work on them to analyze the market than than uh, the bars or, or the line the line is absolutely useless in my opinion in making a good analysis of the market and this one the bar chart is in my opinion a rather difficult chart uh, especially for the one who is just uh, having his first hours with uh, his spending first hours with the with the charts so uh, this is very important to when you open the platform that you will see that you will see uh, this this uh, list this is the one which I prefer, and this is the one which I would advise you uh, to uh, use on your uh, beginning uh, with forex trading. And as I know, as I remember, uh, when the platform is opened, probably this is the first, this is the first uh, chart which is opened uh, in automatic way. So you mustn't even uh, search for this list. You will have it uh, just right after opening the platform. <coughs> uh, so the, here are the, uh, the um, advantages of using um, candlestick charts. First thing that they are very easy to interpret and they are, as I mentioned before, a good place for beginners to start figuring out what is a forex chart, what is a forex chart analysis. Uh, they are very easy to use. You know, your eyes will adapt immediately to the information um you know, on the chart uh, what more uh, the colors will help you uh, to you will um, save your eyes i would say this way okay because your eyes will uh, be will not get not get uh, tired so quickly because uh, you mustn't focus on the chart itself you just look at it and you know you understand what's happening What's happening at the moment with the price uh, quotations of course uh, candlesticks are also very important because the analysis analyzing a chart means uh, finding some turning points on it of it or finding some zones where the market uh, will grow from or <clears throat> where it will stop so the candlesticks especially the bodies and the wicks uh, uh, they help us to recognize what's happening, what's happening uh, with the price. Just I will for, come for a moment back. I mean, those things here are very important during analysis, analysis because such a week like here means that the price was uh, pushed down very quickly. And this is a zone where uh, nobody wanted to buy everyone wanted to sell and the same is with this this uh, type of candle the bullish one it means that any price uh, which uh, uh, where, where, which was on the chart uh, it was sold out very quickly it means that from this one nobody wanted to sell everyone wanted to buy of course later on I will explain what I mean but this is why I am using candlesticks uh, charts instead of uh, uh, the bars or, or line charts. Okay, so one thing more, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have uh, three types of uh, charts. We have candlestick, lines, and uh, bars. So I advise you to use the candlestick charts, but what more, uh, what's important also, we, the candlestick charts or any kind of chart, we can have time frames on them. It means that uh, the candles which are shown on the chart uh, dependent uh, show us some period of time what happened during a period of time and as you see when you open your platform and you go to the menu you will have a list of different time frames time frame it means if you open a, a m5 it means that each candle each candle will have Will last for five minutes and will show what was happening with the price during the five minutes. If you open a chart M30, it means that uh, every candle, one candle will have 30 minutes and will show 
what the market was doing, what the price was doing during the uh, 30 minutes. And that's also H1, it's one hour. <clears throat> you cannot hear me? Hello? Uh, what about... Uh, uh, you can't hear me absolutely, or, 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 or you just uh, just have a break now. Hmm. You hear me now? What about now? Do you hear me? Is it uh, okay? Or did, did, did there was a problem? On, uh, just for a moment, or it's lasting. So, uh, can you type type your message? Do you, can you hear me now? Hmm. It looks like that everything is okay. No, not a word. <clears throat> Hello. Hmm. <clears throat> and what about the other 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 friends? Andrew, do you hear me? Is it a problem on of Dan or, or is it a, is it a something uh, because I see that 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 uh, the, the voice is working here, so I don't know. Andrew, do you hear me? Hmm. I don't know, we have no answer from others. Uh, <clears throat> No, there's no answer. So I'll try to, to continue, but I, 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 I cannot change anything because uh, all what I was, uh, my, my, the, the, the platform is showing that, that the, 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 the voice is okay. So I don't know what's going on. The quality of connection is also okay. And nobody is writing down, is it, is, do you hear me or not? Okay, I will continue because uh, I cannot uh, change anything at the moment. Uh, I'll take a look at the moment for... Oh, Mr. Chris, do you hear me? Because there are some questions, uh, people asking uh, uh, and, and complaining that they don't hear me. Can you, can you answer? Everything is okay here. Okay, I will continue if... if uh, you cannot hear me, then please, please uh, write it down once more, okay? I will continue and uh, it's all I can do because... Uh, <clears throat> uh, one question, Dan, uh, did you hear me? Uh, did, you didn't hear me absolutely. Ah, Andrew writes that he, you hear me. Okay, then it means that uh, maybe, Dan, you have some problem with the connection. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, other people c can hear me. It means that uh, probably, probably there's no problem from my 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 side. I see Andrew is writing also something extra. No, it's a long way from. Uh, with, with, with the voice is very clear. Oh, okay, fine. I'm happy. <clears throat> so, Dan, I think it's you. You need to do something with with your your with your equipment. Mm. Okay, I see that that oh, that's fine. I'm happy that it's working. So, uh, let's focus on on our on our. Uh, oh, Dan can hear me also. That's fine. So okay, so I will just come back for one moment to to this chart, okay, and then we'll continue. So once more to those who didn't hear, uh, this is a candle. We call it a Japanese candle because it was invented by a guy from Japan in some 17th century, he was uh, drawing such things to see 
to, pro, to, to see what price for rice, for rice because he was uh, trading with rice in Japan, what price can be next day. And he was drawing it uh, in form of a candle. That's why we call those Japanese candles. So once more, a candle is built from a body and a wick or upper shadow. Upper shadow or wick or lower shadow also is a lower wick. And this is the body. Body is uh, the distance between opening of the candle and closing of the candle. In case the opening was higher than the closing, we have a bearish bearish candle. It means that the price was was falling. And uh, the green candle is when the price was opening lower, let's say at 100, and up, uh, when it was closing, it was 125, which means that the price of the instrument has grown, and we, we make it green. So those are two types of candles, bearish and bullish one. Those, those are two informations which you need to, which you need to uh, know. And now, if you are opening the platform of CCI Trader, you will have a menu, and you can choose <coughs> types of charts. Of course, the best chart, <coughs> which I believe is very good, and uh, I use it for the last 10 years, <laughs> is the one which is called candlestick, the Japanese candlestick chart. Okay, and now uh, we, so after we choose the, the type of chart, then we need to use, to, to use, or we need to choose at the time frame. Time frame means that, um, as I mentioned, dependent on this symbol, we have one minute chart, we have five minute chart, the one which is with ticked now, 15 minute charts, 30 minute charts, one hour, and we have also four hour charts, we have daily, weekly, and monthly. What does it mean? It means that if you open a five minute chart, every candle, every Japanese candle you saw, you will see, will be the picture of what happened, what happened with price during five minutes. It's very good to have a lower time frames and high, higher time frames to observe all of them because on higher time frames, higher time frames, I mean one daily or four hour chart, uh, you can uh, see the trend better than on the smaller, lower time frames, like five minutes, 15 minutes. But if you're a scalper, if you want to trade uh, quickly, you want to close and open uh, the trades quickly, then you choose usually lower time frame, like five minutes, some trade even on one minute chart. Those are better for scalping. The higher time frames, like one hour, four hour, and and um, daily are good for long term traders. Especially, it's good. Uh, especially, it's good if you if you are working normally for eight hours, or and you come back from or you come back from school or from your studies or from work, then you rather be a long term trader because you don't have too much time to sit on the on the time on the by the charts if you are only trader you can and you can sit six seven hours with the charts uh, then you can use uh, also the short term this lower time frames because then you can scalp you can because you are watching the market non-stop but if you're only watching the market evening after, evening after school or after work you just look at the bigger time frames you find the position uh, opportunity and you trade it. We go after this uh, theoretical part, we'll go to a real chart and I will explain you on real charts <clears throat> the difference between time frames and which is better or which is uh, which you should use to your trading according to the style of life. Uh, it means are you a worker, are you a student, or maybe you have a lot of time and you can spend much time with the time frames. Okay, so now. Um, uh, uh, some some some, some uh, theory about time frames. So you can f the most commonly uh, time frames found 
on uh, plat trading platforms are those which I mentioned here. It's one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, and monthly. <clears throat> what does it mean? It, does, it means that if we are watching price action on a one minute chart, every single candle is showing us what happened with the price within one minute. After one minute is over, the candle is completed and another one is opened. So every minute we have a new candle. Uh, if we are opening a price action on five minute charts, each candle has five minutes. And during this five minutes, it's showing what's happening with the market. So we can say that in one five minutes uh, candle, we have five one minute candles. What means, I'll show you this on the picture. So those are one minute candles, okay? So if you choose M1, M1 uh, chart, and you compare it with a five minute chart, you will see that you have five candles, and at the end you have one five minute candle. At the same time, if you will have 12 such five minute candles, it, they form a one hour candle. The size of the candle doesn't matter, it's the shape of it matters. Why, uh, why from such a candle you will have why one five minute candle? Because the price opened, the, the first one minute candle opened here, closed here. Then the price went higher, this was the second one minute candle. Then the price went even higher and started falling. And from this moment on was only falling, 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 falling. Fourth candle started, again price went up, again has fallen, went down, then went up. And then fifth candle started, the price was falling, 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 falling. But at the end, when the minute was over, it stopped here. So from this, five one minute candles you can see the price action in the form of this five minute candles of course you have much more information looking at one minute chart than from this because this is only one candle you don't know what happened if you hide this picture and look at this you can say uh-huh this candle started here the price went up the price went down the price went down, down, up, and here the, the candle after five minutes price was here. But looking at the one minute chart, you can see that it was growing, it was falling, it was growing, falling. You can observe the, the behavior of price very, uh, in a very detailed, detailed way. So this is why we have so many different price uh, charts, uh, price timeframes, so you can uh, choose the one uh, you prefer. And now you can see a comparison of, a of two charts. This is a time frame, a one minute time frame. This is five minutes time frame. As you see, this is the same uh, currency pair. This is the same price. This is the same period of time. But here you have very detailed moves. Here it's uh, not so detailed. And in, on this chart, you can, let's say, see less. You can say less about the price behavior than here. But on the other side, on such a picture, on such a uh, time frame, it's easier, it will be easier for you to find a trend or so because here you would, you would have to react very quickly every candle is one minute one minute one minute one minute and here you observe the price behavior five minutes after five minutes you see aha uh -huh, they entered here they finished on this level i see a big green candle so it looks very bullish for me so there's a big chance that the price will grow and this is what happened. The same is with those red ones. Uh, if you see that after five minutes, you see such a huge 
candle, it's, it's very bearish. So you can say, okay, the sellers are stronger. The sellers are much stronger than the buyers. Okay, there's a big possibility that the market would start falling. And if I would hide this uh, description here, and I would say those are daily candles, though daily candles can look also the same way, but of course, each candle will be what started at zero zero uh, in the night and what how the price finished uh, after 24 hours. So all depends on the type of time frame you choose. And uh, it's very important to choose the proper one because uh, scalpers usually trade on lower time frames. Long-term traders uh, do it on higher time frames. So <clears throat> this is the for the question which is which time is more accurate. Of course, I will say that accurate in, in case of accuracy, of course, one minute chart shows the, the the behavior of the price in a very detailed way. But for trading, I believe the best charts I start analyzes always from daily candles. Then I go to four hour candles, uh, and when I see that the trend on both on both time frames is the same and then i'm searching for an opportunity to trade i'm going lower even to five minute chart and if i see the trend on a daily then i trade uh, even if i trade on a five minute chance i'm trading in the same direction which is shown on the daily chart but i will go we'll go uh, in a moment to the live charts and i will explain the idea of uh, choosing the proper the proper time frame for your trading but before we go to the live charts let's uh, let's uh, make some um, <clears throat> some summary what are the benefits of uh, looking at the multiple time frames as i mentioned because we have to we can choose between one minute up to one day charts what's important that they give us a different perspective and view of a currency pair. What means a perspective? It means that uh, you know price likes likes to move uh, in a in a trend. Price likes to 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 trend, and uh, the trend uh, the best uh, moment the best way to see the trend is looking at higher time frames like daily, like four hour charts. Of course, uh, if uh, you are searching for some kind of support and resistance areas you also it's better to start with higher time frames and then go lower and lower because on each time frame you can find something new something extra they, uh, those uh, uh, different time frames uh, help you also to uh, place properly your stop loss your take profit because if you trade according to a trend from a daily chart you can uh, look even on a five minute chart to find where the price can stop i will of course explain the idea very soon on the live chart <clears throat> <clears throat> regarding the trend change is very important because uh, if you are you find a trend on a higher time frame uh, but things when, when the trend is changing it starts to change on the lower time frame even on five on a five minute chart you can start seeing that something is gonna change even you don't you still don't see it on a uh, let's say one hour chart you already will see it on a five minute chart that's why it's very important to watch uh, at least two time frames of the same instrument to have an idea what's going on when maybe the market is just breaking down but still on the uh, higher time frame you don't see it of course uh, the, the the last 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 benefit is of course uh, very uh, obvious that uh, if you see if you are looking at the price behavior on a daily chart you can see what happened in last few months and if you look at the five minute charts you will see maybe what happened within uh, half a day so that's also important to see the big picture where the market is going because believe me uh, banks big banks big boys we call them they steer they rule the market 
and they don't bother about five minute charts. They are trading on daily and monthly, weekly charts. They have plans when they start buying dollar, let's say against Japanese yen in January, uh, they are looking what can happen in March. They don't, they are not interested what will happen tomorrow because they have, their plans are long-term plans. We, we, the retail traders, the only thing we can do is just uh, join them, just do what they are doing, just follow them and not uh, fight with them. Okay, so uh, one thing more, why candlesticks are so willingly used by traders? Uh, because as I mentioned, in addition to the advantages already mentioned, such as better readability and visualization of quotation, uh, in my opinion, the most important thing which makes the candle chart so interesting is that uh, the candles, single or two candles or three candles, they create some kind, some formations. And those formations, uh, it's a kind of a language, of a trader's language. Those formations uh, help us recognize the future direction uh, in which the price will move. And what's uh, important, uh, there's always a question. Uh, I have, a, you know, when I'm sitting before the charts, I have one question. Where will the price move? Will they go up or down? And I need only this answer to, to be profitable. It's enough to know where the price will go. It's from one side, it's say, okay, one question, one answer. Yeah, the problem is that the answer can uh, be very difficult sometimes to find. And those, those uh, formation of, of candles, uh, we often call them patterns. And depending on that, how many candles take part in the pattern, we have one candle pattern, two candle patterns, and three and more candle patterns. And now I'll show you a table where is uh, where are the main the main candle patterns which give us some information what will happen with the price in close future but of course those are not all there are much more of them but believe me uh, if you will get to know at least three of those and uh, make some uh, practicing on those three types of formation it's enough to be profitable, you mustn't know all of them because uh, there are too many. You know, every, every second trader has his own patterns. I believe in three types of uh, candlestick patterns, and uh, I will shortly explain. So this is the list. This is those are types of candle patterns. Uh, we can say that we have uh, neutral. Patterns which uh, cannot uh, we cannot uh, uh, read them in the way that we know where they will go. Uh, then we have uh, so we so that's a neutral because uh, we don't know if they will go up or down. We have bullish patterns which usually uh, after we something like this on the chart we can expect the market to grow. And those are the types. Those are the single patterns. Two candle patterns and three and more. Of course, opposite to those bullish candlestick patterns, we'll have also bearish candlestick patterns. And uh, as you see, also we have single, double, three and more. And believe me, we you mustn't uh, learn those patterns. You mustn't remember all those patterns, those names, because you have hanging man, shooting star gravestone or dodgy spinning top evening star uh, three black crows believe me those names are not so important i often see people especially on my facebook group which i'm uh, if you want you can find me by the name i have a face group uh, where we have about twenty five thousand at the moment members and we have daily at least 10 to 15 analysis of different instruments where you can find a lot of uh, knowledge. And uh, many of those traders who are showing their analysis, 
uh, sometimes uh, write that oh i have a dodgy i have a dodgy on a on my uh, chart oh i found a shooting star and then probably the price will be falling of course sometimes you will find those things but mainly mainly we call uh, those patterns they are pin bars those are pin bars in i don't i i some i very very rarely i say about uh, such a pattern that is a hammer i call it just a bullish pin bar those patterns here those are bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing it's the same like here and believe me those pin bars and those bullish and bearish engulfing patterns that's enough if you know them believe me i'm using only those three types of patterns and only those three types of patterns uh, make me profitable. Of course, uh, we must remember that uh, there's something more like uh, not only just recognizing those things, but also we need to uh, know that not, the, not every candle of this shape is a pin bar. It, not uh, because it depends in what place it is on the chart. I will have a uh, next. Uh, I will have once again. You don't hear me, but see. But other other are hearing me, so I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm trying my best to 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 speak as I made it, but uh, but sometimes we, maybe there are some some problems with connection on or maybe the internet is not. Uh, working properly but uh, uh, let's hope that uh, probably you'll get the recording of this uh, of this uh, webinar so probably there in the in the in, in the recording you will have you will have uh, the voice proper so i hope that uh, it's not a, a general problem but ah chris says that he can hear me so, okay so uh, maybe it's a problem with the equipment. Maybe your phone or maybe your 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 computer uh, has some problems with the connection. But uh, believe me, you'll get the recording probably, and then you can uh, watch the, the the webinar once more, and the, then there will be the, the the voice should be heard. So the next uh, next webinar which I'll be holding, uh, uh, as I remember. It will be 25th of June. It will be a candlestick patterns for beginners. And uh, I really uh, believe that if you will take part in it, you will learn a lot about the main candle patterns, the most important uh, patterns ever, I would say. But of course, we have time. It's uh, next week, probably. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> 25th of June. Uh, this will be the the, the subject. Uh, we are not finishing. No, no. We are we will go now for a, in a moment to live chat. So don't bother. We still have about fifteen minutes of our lecture before us. So uh, this is the the, the uh, webinar which will be held on the twenty fifth of June, and I invite to it, uh, you to it. It will be, in my opinion, a very interesting webinar because. I already made such a webinar for some traders, and believe me, they are very they were very satisfied with it with the webinar. I also like it because I am explaining things which I I really understand and which I really like because those are the most uh, I would say the most profitable <clears throat> patterns. And so this is what I wanted to mention about about uh, future. Let's say. And um, now uh, you ask about how do I open new account? I have got from the broker uh, CCI traders uh, such information. Uh, especially, it's a special bonus for the beginners. <clears throat> so the the uh, idea is such that uh, you get a bonus, which is worth uh, two hundred dollars. Of course, you cannot pay out the money because it's only for trading. But if you make on this two hundred dollars, if you make a profit, twenty percent of the profit will be left for you after you 
have a deposit on your account. So it's, I believe this is a very good offer for the beginners, especially because you mustn't invest any money at the beginning. You just start practicing on, you practice on real money, but not losing them because it's a kind of a gift from the CCI trader. It's very interesting. I believe this, this offer is really interesting. All the details here, uh, the rules are written. You cannot take a bonus two times, of course. You cannot withdraw the bonus. The bonus is only for trading and the profit which you get on this $200 account is yours, 20% of it, after you add a deposit to your account. So the, the rules are here. And of course, all the details, uh, which uh, all the details uh, about new accounts and <clears throat> all the bonuses, uh, the multi account management system, all you will get on the support of the CCI traders. So if you are uh, <clears throat> asking for this uh, bonus for the beginners, you need to write in the subject educational bonus and mail it to uh, this address and you'll get an answer how to do it what are the rules uh, how what can you do with this bonus what you cannot do all those things will be nicely explained by the <clears throat> by the uh, support from cci traders uh, now let's go for a moment to our trading platform so uh, i will share you the screen one moment, please. Uh, I need to uh, find the, uh, one moment. I need to find this platform is here. And uh, moment, we will, where is the sharing screen? Sorry, I need to find screen sharing. Okay. So I need to, make it bigger okay and screen sharing okay screen sharing choose how to share your screen uh, open in browser okay moment please hope that it's it's already here. Uh, no, I don't know. what's the moment, moment, please. Uh, how? Sorry, because I'm doing it first time this application. Open in browser. Hmm. I don't know why it's not working. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to show you the, the charts. And uh, I don't know why it's not working at the moment. Oh, mm. screen sharing. Yeah. No, sorry, I don't have this. Uh,
Now is how uh, the audio is probably working now. Okay. Yeah, the audio should work. And uh, the question is. Uh, It's okay. Okay, now. So, uh, okay, that's fine. So, uh, this is a typical typical chart which you will find in your trading platform. Okay. This is the typical typical uh, platform which you will find uh, in your trading platform. It, uh, a, a chart on a chart trading platform. Here you see we have the time frames. 5 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 4 hour chart, daily. So you have different, absolutely different uh, time frames, even monthly. What's the uh, the best? You, some of you ask what's the best. The best is the one which is uh, good for you when you are a scalper or it depends on what if you are a scalper or if you are a, a long term trader. If you are a scalper, you will be probably using 5 minute chart. But I would like to show you. I would like to. I would like to show you two, two uh, charts at once, and you will decide what uh, uh, where you can see more. Let's start with uh, this. Is the five minute charts of euro to dollar. Now let's open another one. Another one, uh, euro to dollar. Uh, We choose another euro to dollar from the list of of uh, instruments. Okay, this one we will close. Here we add another euro to dollar. Okay, we have two different. You see, we have two different time frames here is a five minute chart here is a one hour chart if you wouldn't see what's written here you wouldn't you would you would not you wouldn't know what type of time frame it is because when we look at the candles they are really nearly the same red and green red and green but what's the most important thing 12 such candles like this give us one candle like this so in this case when we are if you want to be a, a trader a real trader not a trader who will be just guessing if uh, will it work or not the, you need to look at a higher time frame find the trend and then go to a lower time frame and try to open a profitable profitable trade so let's change let's change to the higher time frame which i say those are daily candles this is how to how lo, uh, the daily chart looks on the euro to american dollar we see that this is this candle here it's 17th 17th uh, sorry 16th of uh, June and during the 16th of June this is how the price behaved the price the market opened at uh, zero zero here on this level then the price went up then it came back <coughs> started to fall and this was the end of the day so this is the closing day, closing uh, value is 112.60 and the opening was at level 113.30. So during the day, the market has fallen sixty-six pips. And if you would if you would trade with a half a lot, we could uh, get about 333. $333 if we would trade with a half a lot. Here is the volume which we are trading with. Of course, it depends on your possibilities, on your account. If you will have the bonus, which is $200, you cannot trade with a half a lot. 
the the broker will won't let you because it's too little money to if having a 200 dollar bonus uh, you can trade you can trade uh, with uh, let's say zero one okay so this is the amount you can you can trade and let's say that uh, if you use you look at the at the daily daily chart and you see that uh, the market is definitely bearish what more we have a formation here which is called a bearish engulfing which i mentioned uh, a moment ago but of course i will explain it in a in the in the webinar uh, in the webinar uh, on 25th of June, but what I would like to show you, okay, look, this red candle here, I'll make it even bigger so you can see it better. This red candle has the upper week and the lower week. This is the body. And look that the up, the maximum, maximum of today's candle is higher than the maximum of today, yesterday's candle and minimum of this today's candle is lower than the minimum of this candle so we can say that this red candle is engulfing the one before and it is a sign for me that probably the market will be bearish because the, this this whole green candle is closed inside this red one so there's a big chance that the market will be falling and this is what i C on a daily chart. Okay, this is a daily chart. So now I'm going to five minute chart, or even I can change this daily just clicking on five minute chart. And now I'm looking what's 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 happening here. I must uh, spread it a bit more. Okay. This is now our five minute chart. And from the daily, I know that the market is bearish because we had a big red bearish bearish candle. So what we can do, we can enter it. And if we press the red button, it means that we are selling. So we enter the lowest possible volume is zero zero one we enter a cell and we plan because we expect the market to fall we just pull down and search what profit we would like to have and let's say that we expect the market to fall lower than it was today okay we just go down and let's say that 20 pips is our target. And 20 pips means that if the price will fall, this 20 pips will earn $2, which is a lot. It's a lot because $2, it's from 200, if we, was, we, would, if we would start with the bonus only, it is 1% of your account. If you go to bank and leave your money in the bank, you will get 1% per year. And here you can do it in one day. But of course, the problem is, will the market listen to you and will the market fall down here? This, this trading is, is, looks like this. But when you go to a daily chart and you see on the daily chart that the market is falling, then it's a big chance that you can start trading on a five minute chart. But first thing which you must do, you need to go to a daily chart take a look what's happening on the daily chart oh this rectangle can be deleted now if you see that that on the daily chart you have a big red candle like this one there's a big chance that the market will start falling that's why here is our enter and here our profit if it works if it works we will have about two dollars okay so let's say if you are trading with uh, the volume zero zero one and you have 10 pips uh, uh, you win 10 pips you will earn one dollar of course if you have 
not 200, but you will have, let's say, $1,000 on the account, you can open much bigger amount. But in, I believe that in the beginning, you need to open the lowest possible volume just to get some practice. If you are practicing, 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 then you will get better and better. And then you can start trading with higher, higher volumes. But at the beginning, it's better to trade with uh, <clears throat> the lowest possible volume just to practice. Of course, the best thing is to practice on a demo account. On a demo account, you can do anything what you wish and you will not lose even one dollar. And that's what I would advise you. And with this, with this uh, idea, I believe that uh, we can start thinking about, uh, sorry, we can think about going, uh, we can come back to the, to the, to our presentation which was called Candles and Candlestick Chart for Beginners. And I hope that uh, at least part of this, what I was showing to you, uh, would be would, 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 would make you uh, know a bit more about the charts and types of charts. What is a candlestick? What is the maximum of the candlestick? What's the minimum? And I believe that uh, we can meet uh, next week and I will explain what types of what types of candlestick patterns we have uh, during the trading and what type of patterns can give you a chance to place a really good order so once more thank you for your for your attention and this is the information which can be interesting for you so with this information i'm telling you goodbye and I hope that all the technical problems we solved and next time will be we'll, we will have no more problems everything will be smooth and uh, uh, easily understand and understandable by you so once more thank you very much and see you next week or maybe I will have a, a webinar also on Thursday also on this platform but it will be for traders a bit more advanced because there will be a uh, discussion about patterns like triangles, channels, uh, head and shoulders. Uh, I believe that it's for traders which already are a bit ad more advanced. But of course, you can, uh, you can uh, try also listen to it. Maybe it will help you to find some new, uh, new ideas. Uh, type and what's ah, Facebook? It's uh, uh, I'm writing okay. It's my uh, my uh, Facebook page, and uh, you can find me also by name. Okay, so if you are interested, I invite you to the Trading Price Action Patterns group. Uh, it's an international group. We have 25,000 members, a uh, lot of uh, people from Asia, from Africa, from America, all over the world. As I know, there are <coughs> uh, members from over 50 countries. So every, every of us is very friendly. We are trying to help each other. There's no hate. Uh, no uh, spamming, only only education. Everything, of course, is free. So thank you very much once more, and see you see you next week for the beginners. And if you are interested in more advanced knowledge, uh, it will be Thursday at the same time.